Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Sorry if my hair is a little bit gross, but um, I am supposed to wash it tonight. I wasn't planning on going out today, but then my boyfriend asked me to hang out. So I just worked and then I went out with him. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Stila One Step Corrector. We were going to go out and like do stuff like we usually do. But this time we finally just got to hang out at his house because <laughs> plans ended up changing and we ended up just being able to chill at his house. So that was good. And then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 2 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. I've been wearing my makeup pretty much for like almost 12 hours so I can't wait to just take it off after this. Um, then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primate Running at Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Really Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base. And then I went over that with the same MAC Powder. And then I went in with the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette today. Well, I did go in with Makeup Geeks Beach and Cream first. And then I went in with the usual look I go in with. With this palette, I used the Nudie. Then I darkened up the uh, crease more with Cashmere Bunny, and then I went in with Sexpresso on the um, outer corner, and then I went in with Silk Teddy on the lid, and then I went in with Heaven on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown, and then I went in with the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I'm not really sure if I like this mascara, honestly. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I really, really am in a rut for mascaras right now. I mean, I still love my Maybelline Lash Sensational, but I feel like I need to get a couple of new mascaras to try out because I think most of my mascaras are getting dried out, so I really need to get a new one. So I'm really interested in repurchasing the Benefit Roller Lash again. That's one of my all-time favorites, and I just really want to just get it again so I can have one of my favorite Holy Grail mascaras. And I really want to try the It Cosmetics Super Hair Mascara. So those are the two on my list that I want to pick up. Then I went in with um, Nudie on the lower lash line. And then I went in with Max Santa Play Kick a Black Lash. And then I went in with Makeup Geek Starry Eyed on the inner corners. I did conceal and highlight under my eyes first though with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I didn't have time to contour but I pretty much did everything else. And I didn't even feel like contouring when I went out. So I just went in with the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love just because I wanted something really nice and natural. Then I highlighted with um, Too Faced Candlelight Glow um, Highlighter in the shade Rosy Glow. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer, then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Subculture, and now I cannot wait to talk about what is on my lips because I am kind of obsessed with this. This is the Too Faced La Matte Lipstick in the shade When in Doubt. I think this is the Too Faced Color Drenched La Matte Lipsticks. Is that what it's called? Anyway, you guys know that they came out with a whole line of the... Color Drenched Lipsticks in matte form. Oh my god, this is awesome. This might be one, my, probably giving my MAC matte lipsticks a run for their money because this is so comfortable to wear. Honestly, it didn't really start getting drying until now and I have been wearing this all day. This is the first time I've worn it because you guys know I've been rotating a crap ton of new lip products. But... I hope I don't have to pick up more shades in this because, holy shit, this is amazing. It's like, it goes on, it, it kind of like forget, you kind of forget that you're wearing it and it kind of feels like a balm on your lips. It doesn't have that kind of like smoothing kind of texture to it like the MAC ones do. Like some of the MAC ones still have a little bit of shine to them. This is completely matte, but it's like, kind of feels like a balm, like... I don't know, I kind of just love it. Like, isn't it so pretty? I wanted to get the shade Sorry Not Sorry, but then I thought this shade was a little bit prettier. I might have to get that shade too. But I don't know, it's just like, 
it's just so pretty on the lips and yeah I'm I'm really excited to haul this when I can I'm just going to pick up a couple more things from Ulta and then finally shoot a haul video but I am only gonna try these lipsticks once and then I'm going to put them away and wait to haul them because I don't want to use them too much before I haul them because I already put a dent in this earlier so that was you know super intelligent for me to do but yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go take my makeup off now because I need to take it off I was originally going to just go to Lush today and then to the bank but then I didn't realize my boyfriend wanted wanted to hang out he always like randomly calls me and asks me to hang out which is a little bit it's just a little annoying because I wish that he would just tell me but yeah that's it bye Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I was supposed to work today, but then I ended up not, and then I still had plans with one of my friends after work. I went over to my friend Phil's house. We were going to watch this movie because, as you guys know, I'm a huge Marvel fan. I'm a huge um, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Disney, anything like that, Star Wars, I'm such a huge fan of, and I, this is like probably the only Marvel movie that I haven't seen. I am planning to go see, um, sorry, I am planning to go see, um, Captain America next week with my best friend and hopefully my boyfriend as well, um, but anyway, it just wasn't working, so we weren't able to watch it. We ended up watching Hotel Transylvania 2, because I just saw that it, that went on Netflix like a couple of days ago, so I was like, you know what, let's just watch this because this is on Netflix, so why not? So that's what we watched instead. Sorry, my lipstick is still annoying me, and I don't know why. Hold on one sec. Sorry about that. That was just annoying me. So, yeah, um, I was going to wear just, like, a regular white shirt today, but then I was like, you know what, let me do something a little bit more pinkier. I was either going to wear this lipstick or another new lipstick that I hadn't worn yet, but I haven't worn this lipstick yet either, so I decided to go the pink route. So I did wear this really cute Free People shirt. I wear this all the time in the springtime. So, yeah, I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Stila and the Makeup Forever Step On Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer and then the Nourishing Primer on my nose. But I didn't have to go into work today because they said it was going to be really dead, so they ended up not having to have me come in, so that was cool. But I still needed the money, so hopefully I will be making money tomorrow because... Sorry, now my contact is bothering me. Anything else that can go wrong tonight drives me insane. Okay, so anyway... Then I went in with the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation in the color Ivory. I haven't used this in a little while. It looked really pretty today, so hopefully I will be using it more. Just the only thing is that I think my can keeps on clogging up, and I don't want to, like, purchase a new one because, you know, I want to use up the entire bottle before I purchase a new one, but it's just annoying the crap out of me, but hopefully it won't be such a big deal. And the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color Light Bare Minerals. And the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And I saw everything with the MAC Merlay Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base. And then I set that with the same MAC Powder. And then I went in with the Tarte Tarte Light and Bloom Palette today. I was going to just use some MAC Shadows today. Then I decided to, you know, wear something else, so I decided to use the Tartlet palette. So I went in with the shade Flower Child first, then I darkened up the crease more with um, Sweetheart. Then I went in with um, Jet Setter, I believe, on the crease. Oh my god, I never remember the names of these colors. Just give me one second. I'm such a mess tonight, I'm sorry. My friend ended up wanting me to stay at his house longer than I wanted to. Okay, so it's actually right here in front of me. Um, I went in with Rebel, and then I darkened up the outer corner with Leader. And then I went in with the ColourPop shadow that I usually use when I do this look, which is ColourPop's Weenie from the Kathleen Light Squad. And then I highlighted the brow bone with Charmer. Then I lined my eyes with the cat with the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I um, primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. 
Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the same Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Bare, whatever it is. And the same MAC Prep and Prime. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. <sighs> Sorry. Then I um, went in with the um, color Sweetheart and the color... Oh my god. Sorry. The color Sweetheart and the color... Smarty Pants on the Laura Lash Line, and then I went in with the MAC Ascend and Play Giga Black Lash, and then I highlighted the inner corners with Funny Girl, so those were all from the same palette, because now I like to use as many colors as I can from one palette if I actually use the pa just a palette. Um, and then, sorry, like, my lip is bothering me, like, right here, but I guess it's just, like, a little bit of something else. I don't know what it is. It's driving me nuts. I guess it's just a freckle. Yeah, whatever. Um, and then I went in with the Marc Jacobs uh, Dreamer Filter with the darker shade to contour and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I went in with this blush that I keep on holding up. This is a blush that I got for being a VIB Rouge member and I wanted to try it out today. This is the gift that they give you. For being VIB Rouge. So this shade is called Goulet. This is so pretty on the cheeks. I really liked how it looked. This is the first time I tried it today and I really love it. I mean it's a NARS blush. Why would I not love it? Then I highlighted with Bobbi Brown's highlighter in the shade Pink Glow. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass on this light powder. Um, Ethereal light powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Dervish. And then I filled them in with a new lipstick, which is the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. Lovecraft. This is so pretty. Look how beautiful this color is. So I finally got to wear this today. It was so pretty on. Oh my god. I'm kind of obsessed. Um... I forgot how great the formula is for these. They're amazing. And yeah, that's why I decided to pick up more shades in this. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did just work tonight. Um, I did get invited out by my boyfriend, though, um, tonight. But I can go because I ended up switching shifts with one of my co-workers so and ended up making money tonight so that was good so I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer and then the Nourishing Primer on my nose then I went in with the Tarte Water Foundation in the color Fair whatever it is light neutral I think the lightest color I probably say always the wrong color but it is the lightest color and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning if you guys are wondering why I'm always using the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning and not the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, it's because my mom threw out the bottle. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know how I told you guys that um, it dropped originally and it, I'm just checking my highlight to see if it's on fleek, but yes, it is on fleek. Um, I did drop it accidentally, um, like a couple months ago, and um... It kind of like broke the middle of the bottle and she probably didn't realize I was still using it so I think she threw it out like last week or something or like a couple weeks before that. I didn't even realize it until like oh probably like a week or two after she did it because I was using the Kevin Aquan so much. Um, but yeah I might repurchase that at some point but I'd rather just finish up the Kevin Aquan first before I even purchase another liquid illuminator so it doesn't really matter because I would switch between the both of them, but I would really love to have the Becca one for the summertime because that one just makes your skin so glowy, and you know I'm all about that glowy look for the summertime, so yeah. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm in the MAC from Primate Radiant Rose. I don't know if I said that already. And then I set everything in the MAC Millie Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base, and then I set that with the same MAC Powder, and then I went in with Makeup Geeks Beasts and Cream, of course. And then I went in with all MAC shadows today. I used the color Soft Brown on the crease, then I darkened up the crease more with Brown Script, and then I darkened up the outer corners with Brown Down, and then I put all the glitters on the lid. I swear to God, this color is so freaking gorgeous. It's insanely beautiful. 
it's amazingly pigmented. You really, you really don't expect it until you put it on your lid. It's beautiful. And then I did Blanc Type on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. Then I went in with the YSL Baby Doll, Baby Doll, Baby Doll Mascara on the top. And then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm almost done with the first one that I have. Basically only probably like two or three more uses and then that will be finished. The Smash Brush Primer Water I'm still working on. I swear to God, it takes forever to get through that. And you put that all over your face. So you think that would take a little bit less time. But it's like, I don't know. <laughs> And then I smudged um, soft brown un underneath and a little bit of Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee just to make it a little bit more pigmented. And then I went in with MAC and and Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. And then, of course, I highlighted the inner corners with MAC's Nylon. So gorgeous. Then I contoured with the MAC Sculpting Contour and Sculpt Yourself palette with the shade Sculpt. And then I baked it with the Emphasize Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Single Pan Blush in the shade Style. Because I haven't used it on its own yet and I really just wanted to use Style on its own. It's so pretty. Then I highlighted with MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade uh, Soft and Gentle. I was going to use Opal, but then I was like, you know what, let me just make it a MAC day and just use um, Soft and Gentle. So that's what I decided to do instead. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I swear this foundation makes your skin look so natural though, but it still like covers everything, but very lightly. That That's the kind of coverage I like. I mean, I, probably my Giorgio Armani is even more coverage than this, but this foundation is so pretty, like, um, because it shows your imperfections, but not really, just like evens out your complexion like beautifully. I love it. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the uh, MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Strip Down. And then I filled them in with the MAC Lip with the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Taupe. It is seriously so overwhelming to get new lipsticks. I swear to God. I feel like lipsticks are like the hardest thing to not be overwhelmed with because eyeshadows you can wear like six or seven of them and you can wear them like a few times like honestly I'm so comfortable with my eyeshadows right now I feel like I've used basically all of them like I much rather like go for like a neutral eye than like a colorful look sometimes but I have been like trying to use color more often now I was such a colorful girl before and now it's like eh I'll just wear my neutrals and just go out like that instead um, because I don't even bother, like, changing my makeup after work anymore. That's just too much work. But this lipstick is so pretty. It is super comfortable on the lips, and it feels, this one feels so moisturizing. Like, I don't know, I just love this one. This is the second time I finally got to wear it. Um, I was going to wear a different lipstick today that I haven't worn yet, but it's just, like, I just received another lipstick in the mail, and it's like, you have problems. Like, you don't need this many lipsticks, but... Honestly, I'm going to be on such a no-buy for lipsticks after this. I know I said that, like, on in February, and I really was. I was on a no-buy for, like, a month, and then I was able to rotate my lipsticks in, like, one month. I wore, like, 50 of my lipsticks that I hadn't worn in, like, a long time. I don't even know. Like, I was just able to wear a lot of different lipsticks after I decided to not purchase anymore. And then I was in such a comfortable place that I was like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to get new lipsticks then. And then I got the Bite Beauty lipstick and the Too Faced Melted Matte lipsticks. And I was good with those because I wore those a couple times. And then I decided to go MAC crazy and buy 8 MAC lipsticks. And then I bought ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. And it's just like ridiculous getting 15 new lipsticks. But whatever. Um, but it's like you only have one set of lips. And I only work a certain amount of days. That it's like, I can't wear my neutral lipsticks all the time because, you know, you guys know I love wearing bright lips when I'm out. Because, like, obviously I can't wear, like, red lipstick or hot pink lipstick to work. So I like wearing those when I go out. And I like wearing neutral shades. I mean, I would wear this out too, obviously. And, like, obviously, like, any lipstick works when you go out unless it's, like, a crazy color. And I don't wear crazy colors, but if you wear crazy colors, more power to you. But it's just, like... I just feel like I don't know why I need this many lipsticks. And I honestly feel like getting rid of some lipsticks that I don't wear anymore. Um, I mean, 
I'm really just considering getting rid of some Too Faced lipsticks right now. But the thing is that I got them for such a good deal that it would, like, suck to get rid of them then. But it's like, is that the only reason why I'm keeping them? But I'm going to see if I can try and use them, like, within the next month or two. And if I don't use them, I might just get rid of them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did go out with my boyfriend today, and then we went out to dinner with my mom as well. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. Sorry, I'm just checking something. And the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Smoothing Primer and then the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot Foundation in the color B10 Beige and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the MAC Pro Long, Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color NW15 and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose and the I started with the MAC Relay Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base and then I set that with the same MAC Powder. Then I went in with um, all Makeup Geek shadows today, and I went in with Vanilla Bean first all over the eye. Then I went in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake on the crease, and I darkened up the crease more with Petal Pusher. And then I went in with Frappe and Latte on the outer corners, and then I went in with Whimsical on the lid. I was going to use um, Cinderella, but again, it's not giving me the pigmentation that I wanted, so I just went in with, with Whimsical again. And then I went in with Vanilla Bean and Mirage on the brow bone again. Then I lined my eyes with the Steel Stay All Day Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I went in with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer to prime my lashes and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. <laughs> I really do need a new mascara, though. Like, I really am in such a mascara rut. This is really, like, the only one that works for going out. The YSL like works like it's either works or it doesn't work like it's kind of like iffy on um, when it like wants to actually work as a mascara. It's a little bit weird. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime and then I set that with the Laura Mercier Super Branding Powder. Then I smudged a little bit of pet Petal Pusher on the lower lash line and then I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash and then I highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geek's Shimma Shimma. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter with the darker shade <coughs> and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I went in with the MAC blush in the shade Love Cloud on my cheeks and then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Shit, Glow Shit? Oh my god, the Glow Shit, the Glow Kit in um, Starburst and Crushed Pearl. Oh my god, I can't believe I said Glow Shit because I love these highlighters. Sorry, and then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder and then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Soar. And then I went in with a new liquid lipstick today. I got the shade Doll Parts by Jeffree Star um, yesterday, so I really wanted to wear it today. And it's really, really pretty, so I thought it was really pretty. And that's it. Bye! Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I'm about to head out and meet my best friend. We're going to go see Snow White and the Huntsman. Um... Pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't even know if Snow White's in this one. I don't think she is. I don't know why they would call it. No, not Snow White and the Huntsman. Just the Huntsman. Duh. <laughs> um, so we're gonna, gonna go see that. It's another really gloomy day outside. It kind of sucks. Like, every day has been very cloudy and almost has been wanting to rain almost every single day. So... I was going to wear something more co colorful if it was nicer out, but I just decided to wear a purple shirt and do something a little bit more neutral and purpley. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Smoothing Primer and then the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I um, went in with the Clinique 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer Foundation in the color 0.5 Breeze. It is feeling a little bit dry around this area here, but whatever. And the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair. And the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Mirrorless Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I went in with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour base to prime my eyes and then went over that with the same MAC powder. 
And then I went in with mostly Makeup Geek shadows today. I went in with Beaches and Cream and then Creme Brulee over that. Then I darkened up the outer corners with Frappe and Latte. And then I went in with a NYX shadow today on the lid called Punk Heart. But it wasn't really as purple as I wanted it to be. It was like kind of a dark purple. So I tried to overlay it with Makeup Geek's Black Light Dual Chrome Shadow. It looked really pretty when I first did it. Now it kind of turned a little bit bluish purple, but I still think it looks really cool. So I just decided to leave it as it was. Oh yeah, and I darkened up the crease here with Petal Pusher. I used the same exact shade in my crease there yesterday. Then I lined my eyes with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in black. I did highlight the brow bone with Vanilla Bean and Mirage as well. Sorry, I'm like all over the place right now. Then I um, primed my lashes with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Branding Powder like I always do. That basically never changes. Then I smudged a little bit of Petal Pusher on the lower lash line and went in with the MAC Ascend to Play Kick a Black Lash. But then I decided I wanted a little bit more purple on the lower lash line. So I decided just to line the waterline just a little bit with Urban Decay's Exfixia 24-7 Glide on Side on Pencil. It didn't come out as purple as I wanted it to be. I don't know. Purples are hard to work with, so... I guess it just didn't, they didn't want to come out as pigmented as I wanted them to today. And then I highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geek's Daydreamer, which is another purple. Um, then I contoured with Marc Jacobs' Instant Mark Dreamer filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. I am trying to hit pan on it, so that's why I am using it basically every day. Then I went in with Benefit's Box Blush in the shade Hervana, and then I highlighted with Girlactic's Face Glow in the shade Natural. I just wanted something a little bit more natural today because it's kind of a gloomy day, so I didn't want something to be like beaming from the gods. So, And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder, then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil, and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the By Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Lumiere. And then I filled them in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Lumiere too. This is the first time I'm wearing a lipstick that is not new in like two weeks. And I feel so much better wearing something that I haven't worn in a little while. Because um, I've been rotating so many new lipsticks lately. It's just been a little bit hard to wear older lipsticks. Um, but I did try and top this off with a gloss. I was, I put Marc Jacobs Moon Glow on the top, but it was a little bit too pinky, so I decided to just put a little bit more purple on. I really like how it kind of has like a dual chrome effect to it. It's really pretty, so I guess it's a little bit of the glossiness is still there. But this one is very drying, but it is a really pretty color. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope it looks good. Again, I feel like my lid looks a little bit blue, but if I decided to fix it, I would have to fix, like, everything. So, whatever. Bye. Okay, so, hi. So, I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. <laughs> I just like talking like that. Um, I am waiting for my boyfriend to pick me up. Um, he'll be here in a few minutes. Um, but I had a few extra minutes. I am so tired. Today was a very busy shift at work, but I made a lot of money today, so I'm very happy about that. Um, so I primed my face with the... What are you doing, Mr. Watson Watson? I love you! Sorry, my dog came into my room. Um, because when I have, like, the door popped open a little bit, then, like, open a crack, then he always likes popping his head in. It's adorable. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 2 and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestia Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I saw everything with the MAC Merlay Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base and then I set that with the same MAC Powder. Then I went in with, of course, Makeup Geek's Features and Cream as my transition shade. And then I, um... Sorry, I'm just looking at something. And then I went in with Makeup Geek... <coughs> <coughs> 
Then I went in with Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream as my transition shade. And then I went in with the Urban Decay Naked Palette today. I went in with the shade Naked on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Buck. And then I went in with Hustle on the outer corner. Then I went in with Sidecar on the lid. But I wanted it to be just a little bit more shimmery. So I went in with a little bit of Sin as well. And then I went in with Virgin on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. I just really wanted to pull out this palette today because I've been seeing Young Wild Polish talk about it. And it's like, you know what? I really want to use it today. It is a solid, great palette. Um, it's definitely my favorite one out of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. It's just like... I don't know. It's just like something about it. Like the shades are just so pretty. Also, they're a little bit warmer than the Naked 2 shades. And I love the Naked 3 palette, but I haven't used it in so long because that was my one palette that I used for like three months. And then I finally started buying other palettes after that. Like I finally got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes after I got the Naked 3 palette. So then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer and then went over them with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime, and then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I smudged a little bit of Naked on the lower lash line, and then I went in with MAC Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes, and then I highlighted the inner corners with Sin from the same palette. Then I contoured with Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. I didn't have time to contour this morning, but I did have time to do it after work, so I just decided to add a little bit of a contour, just for some definition. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette, and I went in with the shades Lo-Fi and OC. And then I highlighted with Urban Decay's Afterglow 8 Hour Highlighter in the shade Sin. So pretty. So pretty. As you can tell, I wanted to use a lot of Urban Decay products today. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Strip Down. And then I filled them in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Echo Park. It might look a little bit warm for this eye, but I really like how it looks. So I really wanted to use one of the Ultra Satins today. So yeah, that's pretty it. Pretty it. Pretty much it. Bye. <laughs> okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. I just worked tonight, so <coughs> it was fucking chaotic. Like, it was crazy. Cheesecake Factory for Mother's Day is absolutely insane. But anyway, I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the um, Makeup Forever Supplement Equalizer and the Smoothing Primer. <laughs> and then the nourishing primer on my nose. <coughs> then I concealed and I went in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color Y225. And the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the color Y23. And the MAC Ripper Prime in Radiant Rose. And I set everything with the MAC Mirror Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I went in with the MAC 24 Hour Base to prime and then went over that with the same MAC powder and then I went in with Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream as my transition shade, transition shade. And then I went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette today. Um, I used the color, this color right here on my crease and that color is called Ludwin. Then I darkened up the crease more with this one and that one is called Succubus. Oh my god, my hair drives me nuts. I don't know how the heck it gets in my face like that. I really don't. Sorry about that. Um, then I darkened up the crease more with... I went in with this on the outer corner, and that one is called Citri. And then on the lid, I went in with a Metal Crush Shadow within the shade Dose. And then I went in with this color on the brow bone, along with a little bit of this yellow color. And this one is called Latinus, and then this one is called Latus. Latus. Um, sorry, the names are just really hard to pronounce. But yeah, I really like this palette a lot. It's really beautiful. She did such an awesome job with this palette. So yeah, that's what I used from that. And then I lined my eyes with the Steel Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. 
Then I went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top. I just didn't decide to prime them, you know, because I was being lazy. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Makeup Forever Concealer and the MAC Prep and Prime. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I smudged a little bit of discolor right here on the lower lash line. And that one is called Sam Samuel. And that is it from the Kat Von D palette. The reason why I use this is because I went in with a new Kat Von D lipstick today. That I, that's why I wanted to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette for it. And then I went in with the MAC Extend and Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. And then they highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geek's Magic Act Foiled Eyeshadow. Then I contoured with the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette today. I used the second shade, the middle shade. I believe that one is Shadow Play if I'm not mistaken, and then I mixed together the white shade and the banana shade um, underneath to kind of define it more and highlight it. <clears throat> I don't remember what the names are, but there's only six shades in that palette. And basically I said I used the middle shade. What is on my forehead? I don't even know what that is. Um, and the um, middle shade, the white shade and the banana shade, and then I used the middle shade to contour, so... It's different because it's different than using this for the colors because obviously there's a lot more colors in this and you there's only six shades in the shade and light palette. So anyway, and then I went in with Kat Von D's Everlasting Blush in the shade Bellissima on my cheeks because I usually always use that when I use the shade and light palette. Then I highlighted with Becca Shimmy Skin Perfector Pressed in Champagne Pop because whenever I do a peachy tone look, I always have to use this highlighter. And plus I haven't used it in a little bit. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. And then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil. And then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Subculture. And then I filled them in with the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Noble. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It is very drying. And it really does not go on evenly and like kind of flakes everywhere. So I'll have to see how I feel about it if I wear it again, but I really do love Lovecraft and Lolita more based on um, just the first time trying this. But sometimes I try things for the second time and then I end up liking them better the second time. So I'll give it a second chance. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's it. Bye. That's what happens with lighter shades. Sometimes lighter shades, like the formula is like completely different and drying compared to like darker shades. It's like, it's so weird. And that's it. Bye.